Hey Leon, it's Tuesday morning and we are working on writing. And this is your Tuesday writing and it looks like you have a lot of L's today. So they are slender, they're not chubby. And we have Leon slowly, est and biggest, quickly, lively, freely, loudest, tallest, sleepiest. Sam found a lovely crab. All right, see if you can write that. And then in phonics, we will see what we are doing for Tuesday. And it looks like this. So you, it says write five prefixes from memory. What are prefixes? Prefixes are what come at the beginning of a word. Let's see if I can get a sheet here and we'll just go over it. It's just like a suffix, but it's at the front of a root word. The root word is the base word you start with. You can take a prefix off and still have a word. Sleep. I am a uh, sleep. So a uh, is the prefix. A, but it's pronounced a. Uh. And then you have here's a big word. What is that? A L all together. All together now. Or you could just have together if you take A L off. Uh, then we have have this one be being because a cause is a word because is another word why did you do that because it was the only thing I could think of all right the next one is what is the prefix on this one en the base word is camp in camp that means to be camped around we were encamped around the mountain and this one is untie do you know how to untie a knot un is the prefix so you've got to write those down a a l b e e n u n and then you're going to use them to make words with the words on the tent and the campsite. So try each prefix. If you can't figure out which one goes, ask mom for help. But be sure you have tried each prefix first. Then it says write five suffixes from memory. What are our five suffixes that we can remember? What about Lee and slowly? Is and peaches? Ed and wanted and look duck and played ing and pointing er and bigger there's five write those five down and then use them to make words with suffixes on the bottom it's pretty easy in language today you have a test uh, I want you to show me who you are on that test. I do not care if you make a hundred. It is not important to me what grade you make. It is not important if you make a mistake. What is important is if you do your best. I want you to not rush through it. Just think about it and try to see if you understand what the problem is telling you to do. Write neatly. That shows me that you're conscientious, you're careful, you're thinking, you're respectful of me because I have to read it and I need to be able to read what you wrote. Mama, do not check his test. Uh, it's important for me to know what he has comprehended over what I've been teaching. And if we see that he's having trouble in some areas, then we can go back and work on those areas. All right, so that is all of language and phonics and writing for today. Uh, I'm going to go, and I will see you in just a minute for math.